Hey guys, what's up? It's Sherry. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are not new, then welcome back. So I just want to say Happy New Year to all of you guys out there. It is officially 2018. Oh my god, I cannot believe how fast this year has gone. It just felt like it was summertime, June of last year, and I was celebrating my birthday. Now it's New Year's. With it being New Year's, you know what that time is for? It's time for New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution for this year is just to become more physically active again. I used to be into fitness, but I kind of stopped for a bit because I was just lazy and I wanted to enjoy life without having to worry about working out. But now that it's the new year, I want to get back into my whole fitness regimen, start working out more regularly, eating more healthier, dropping about 20 pounds that I've gained within this past year and also to grow my YouTube channel. So those are the goals that I want to achieve for this 2018. You guys have shown me so much support here with my YouTube channel and it just gave me a lot more motivation to keep going and to bring more videos as frequently now than I did before. So with that being said, in this video today, I'm going to share with you guys 10 ways to live a happier and healthier 2018. So let's get started. Number one, drink more water. I know a lot of people don't like the taste of water, but water is probably your best friend. Drinking water boosts your immune system, so drinking plenty of fluids will help fight against flus, cancers, and other ailments. It also helps flush out toxins and gets rid of waste through sweat and urination which reduces the risk of kidney stones and UTI. Best of all, it promotes weight loss. Drink a glass of water before you eat your meal. It reduces your hunger and raises your metabolism, and it also has zero calories. Since a lot of people don't like the taste of plain water, try switching it up and adding a little bit of fruit and veggies into your water. Adding a bit of flavor to your water will help it become more enjoyable and refreshing to drink. Number two, eat a big healthy breakfast. We all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so eat up guys. Eating a good breakfast fuels your body and gets you through the day. It is known that folks who skip breakfast get easily irritable, restless, and tired. So don't skip breakfast. For breakfast, sometimes I like to eat a piece of whole wheat or rye real toast topped with tomatoes, lettuce and mozzarella cheese, and a sunny side egg. And I like to add a few slices of apples on the side. This is one truly delicious meal. Number three, cut out sugar. Not only does it help with weight loss, but there is a surprisingly number of benefits for cutting the bad sugar out of your diet. It keeps your brain sharp. Research shows that eating too much sugar can cause a mild cognitive impairment, MCI, which in short means a person has trouble remembering and learning new things or concentrating. It also eats away the proteins that are necessary for memory and responsiveness. It will keep your skin looking young and fresh. Eating too much sugar can make the skin dull and wrinkled, which is due to the process they call glycation, in which damages the collagen and elastin of the skin. So if you don't want this to happen, cut out the sugar. If you must have it, then eat a piece of fruit that satisfies your cravings. Number four, be more active. Adding a bit of physical activity to your lifestyle will strengthen your heart, lungs, bones, and muscles. And it gives you more energy and strength. It also helps you achieve a better quality of sleep. If you are new to fitness, start off by doing a 30-minute walk around the block or on the treadmill. Just anything to keep your heart rate up. If you are one to just work out at home, try some of these free workout apps on your phone. I like to use this daily arm workout app. You get to choose the length of time you want your workout to be, and it also shows you the moves and the next workouts that you're gonna do, and it shows you a lot of the proper form for you to properly perform these workouts. Another app that I like to use is Swerk It. 
It gives you a few free workouts to do and it helps you build your booty. Whatever form of exercise you do, just do it. I guarantee you will feel so much better. Number five, eat healthier. Eating a healthy balanced diet plays a big role in maintaining a healthy weight, which is a very important part of an overall good health. A key to a healthy diet is to eat the right amount of calories for how active you are so that you balance the energy you consume with the energy that you use. Your diet should include protein such as fish, meat, poultry, eggs, nuts, and beans, and fats that are found in animals, dairy products, nuts, and oils, carbohydrates that are found in fruits, veggies, whole grains, beans, and other legumes, and don't forget water. To help you find out how much of these you should be eating, download the MyFitnessPal app. There it helps you calculate how much calories you should be eating depending on your weight and level of fitness. Number six, surround yourself with positive people. I cannot stress enough about this specific topic here because being around a lot of negative people will definitely break you down. I can speak with experience because I normally am not a negative person. I tend to be very, you know, happy, easygoing. But once I'm around somebody who has negative energy and just seems so angry and down all the time, it transfers onto me and it just puts me in a bad mood and then it puts everybody else around me in a bad mood. So if you guys want to avoid that, Try to avoid those types of people and just surround yourself with more positive people because you know what, 2018, we're all about being happy here. So surround yourself with all the happy friends and family that you have and just throw those other negative people on the other side. We don't need that. Number seven, put your phone down. This is another topic that I really believe in. With technology nowadays, everybody is on their phone. Life is not how it used to be back in the day. So once in a while, put down your phone, talk to the person next to you, start a normal conversation, not through text message or emails or anything like that. You want a verbal conversation, so do that. Grab your family member, grab your friend. You know, life is so much better when you have a personal interaction with somebody other than texting or social media or anything like that. So again, put down your phone, enjoy life. Number eight, pick up a new hobby. This is something that is kind of related to the last topic, which is putting down your phone because a lot of people are so involved in being on their phone that that's all they do for the whole entire day if they're not at work or at school, they're on their phone. So instead of that, pick up a new hobby. It helps relieve stress, promotes happiness, provides a social outlet, and it also helps you bring in new challenges that you never thought you would have to deal with. Participating in a new activity keeps your mind engaged. It lets you work out new challenges. Challenging your mind in ways helps break up your mundane routine and keeps you mentally stimulated. So go out and find a hobby, whether it is crafting, playing tennis, cooking, or working out. Just go out and challenge yourself. Number nine, save money. Oh my gosh, this goes for me and probably everybody else out there because you know we spend so much money during Christmas time to buy gifts and presents for everybody that we care for, love, friends, family, whatever and it just leaves us with like zero money by the time New Year's come. So the New Year is a great time to save money especially with all the expenses we made through Christmas. We all know that having some extra money kept away would help us tremendously. So with that, try using this 52-week money challenge. Grab an empty jar and print out this 52-week challenge and stick it onto the front of your jar. Now starting at the beginning of the year, at the end of week one, put in a dollar and then the next week add two dollars. And then the next week after that, add three dollars and so on. So you're basically going to be adding a dollar more every week. So by the time you reach 52 weeks, you will have a savings of $1,378. With that, I'm definitely going to be doing this challenge because I need some money saved. Number 10, sleep early. 
There are a lot of benefits to going to bed early. It is recommended that you get at least seven to eight hours of sleep each night. Sleeping early keeps your heart healthy. Lack of sleep has been known to contribute to high levels of cholesterol and blood pressure, which are major factors for heart disease and strokes. So get your Z's in. Going to sleep early makes you more energetic and alert the next day. And it also improves your memory. It is also believed that sleeping early plays a significant role in memory consolidation, which is a process where your brain is busy processing your day, making connections between sensory input, event memories, and feelings. Sleeping early will get you more quality sleep, which will help you process and remember things better. So put down your phone and go to bed early. So that is my top 10 ways to have a happier and healthy new year. I definitely am going to be implementing these in my new year's resolution because those are some of the things that I know I need to work on. But I hope that it kind of gives you guys some tips and ways for you guys to maybe add on to your new year's resolutions list. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have any other topics that you want me to make a video on, please let me know in the comment section down below. I will be glad to do them for you. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic new year. Happy new year once again to each and every one of you guys out there. And I will see you in my next video.